Hello and welcome back to my YouTube. Going places with Apple Mica. Okay, you can't see me today, guys. Um, yes, uh, today is the 23rd of January 2021, and time is 8:53 in the morning. Current temperature is minus 16 degrees Celsius here in South East Edmonton, and uh, yeah. So, I kind of lost my uh, video editing, so I'm going to have to use my phone for a bit until I manage to get my editing software and the computer itself sorted out. But anyway, that shouldn't stop us from making great videos. Today, I want to talk about soft landing, okay? Um, a lot of people ask uh, whether soft landing is a good idea at this time. Uh, whether soft landing is allowed, there's a lot of issues to do with whether you can just land in Canada, finalize your permanent residence application, and then go back to your country. Right? A lot of people do that because uh, I don't know, maybe you have some unsettled issues back home, or you're not yet ready to settle in Canada permanently, but you don't want to uh, lose the opportunity to become a permanent resident of Canada. So, yeah. So what a soft landing is, briefly, is when you land in Canada with your COPR and PR visa for the purpose of just, you know, activating uh, or validating your PR status, uh, and then you don't actually settle in Canada, but you go back, you know, wherever you came from. That is not allowed at the moment by the government of Canada. What the government of Canada is saying is that if you want to uh, come to Canada at this time you have to come to settle permanently right now there are a lot of issues to do with uh, travel restrictions and exemptions and all of this I won't go into that now I'll probably do a separate video on the restrictions the current restrictions and exemptions uh, but specifically I just want to talk about this whole soft landing uh, thing now in before it was possible uh, to fly to Canada, land at the airport, do your landing procedures, and immediately get on the next plane back. You know, that's what a lot of people were referring to as uh, soft landing. But now when you land in Canada, especially if you travel, if you come in by air, you have to self-isolate for 14 days. Um, and after that, you know, you can move about. So now there's a lot of confusion over the definition of a soft landing itself because uh, you can no longer make a U-turn at the airport, so you have to self-isolate first. But now, after self-isolating, I mean, you can still fly out of the country if you need to. The reason why the government of Canada is discouraging soft landings is to curb the spread of COVID-19. Because remember, COVID-19 spread around the world through travel, okay? It was discovered in China and then it spread to other parts of the world, to the rest of the world basically. And it spread through travel. It spread because people were moving from one country to another spreading the virus. Okay. So if you are doing a soft landing and then eventually you want to settle in Canada permanently, it means you're going to fly to Canada, let's say from your home country, and then you're going to fly back, and then you're going to fly back to Canada at some point, you know, when you want to settle. So the government of Canada is, is discouraging this whole, like, movement in and out of the country because the more people move in and out of the country, you know, the tougher it becomes to contain the virus. Okay, so now we've talked about the COVID part of things. Now let's talk about uh, the... Uh, let's talk about the implications now. Right, now when you do a soft landing... Right, you are coming to Canada and then you are leaving the country, right? But the thing is, you don't know when you're gonna come back to Canada, you don't know that, right? So it becomes a bit tricky when you come to Canada because a lot of people are not sure about the job situation. You know, am I gonna find employment? Those are some of the concerns people have. Am I gonna find a job? I think I did a video on should you come to Canada during COVID. Uh, and so, some, but then still, you know, they still believe that Canada is a future and they want to be a part of that future. So they come here, they land, do their quarantine and go back. 
But the thing is, you don't know when you are going to come back to Canada. And you don't want to end up losing your status because you haven't fulfilled your residency obligation. Because you do have a residency obligation to fulfill if you come to Canada as a permanent resident. You have to stay here for minimum 730 days in a five-year period so as to continue to, uh, you know, to, to, to be a permanent resident of Canada. Now, if you leave and you're not sure when you're going to come back, right, how can you be sure you're going to be able to maintain your residency uh, by, you know, fulfilling your residency obligation? You, you don't know that. I, I have uh, seen a lot of posts in social media right now of people who soft landed like two years ago, right? They came to Canada, maybe like 2017, and they did a soft landing. And they're like, ah, we're not, we're not ready, we're not ready, we're not ready. And sometimes it's difficult when you already have a good job or stable, you know, you have a stable life in, in, in your own country. It's not something that you'd want to leave for uncertainty, okay? Because settling in a new country is difficult. I mean, I... I, I am still settling here. I've been here for this is this is uh, uh, this is our uh, eighth month, I believe. This is my eighth month in Canada, and I am still settling here. I mean, I, I, I'm still you know uh, looking for a job in my field and the like. And part part of the reason why I uh, probably haven't landed a job in my field is because I'm too busy with all these other jobs I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> to even look for a job in my field but generally um, you know when you come to Canada and then you leave you go back to your well-paying job your stable life and everything right it, it becomes difficult to say okay now I'm going to Canada and now when when when, when a lot of people like soft landed and went back and then COVID struck and you've already passed let's say your two-year mark and you're like okay now I have to go back to Canada during a pandemic right I have to go back to Canada during a pandemic and the pandemic itself has got a lot of uncertainties it's got a lot of uncertainties surrounding it right so it's very very difficult it's very very difficult that, so my own advice is if you want to uh, I mean if you, want, if you are considering doing a soft landing I, I, I would say think again I would say, you know, try to come to Canada and and settle. When the economy starts recovering, and it has started recovering, when the economy started starts recovering, it would be good for you to be here. It would be good for you to be in the country than to be outside. Right? Because now I can tell you a lot of companies are hiring. I've done... Uh, I've done two interviews in the last week, right? And it's, it's, it's very, very promising, right? I mean, it is very promising. So uh, rather than be outside the country, you know, waiting for things to, be, to, 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 to get better, uh, I would say if you have an opportunity to come to Canada, because there are a lot of people who can't come because of the restrictions, but if you have an opportunity to come to Canada at this time, I would say don't hesitate come to Canada you know uh, and just settle here make life work make life work right make life work I mean I, I, I came I left a stable job in Dubai and I came to Canada during a pandemic and when a lot of people were telling me you're not gonna get a job right I, I am working part-time I am working two part-time jobs and uh, also a third like online job uh, but you know, yeah, I, 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 I'm surviving, right? <laughs> I'm surviving. I, I don't complain. I have no complaints whatsoever. I have no regrets whatsoever. Uh, I can stay in Canada right now for as long as I want. Uh, I've stayed here. Yes, it's like I, I mentioned, it's almost eight months now, and uh, four more months I would have already spent one year in Canada, and then another one year I would have spent two years in Canada. Right? I would have already fulfilled my obligation to stay in Canada for two years in a five-year period. And if I want, let's say at the end of 2022, to leave Canada for three years, I can do that. 
right? I have that freedom, right? But of course, I'm not planning to do that. I am planning to stay in Canada for quite a while. Um, at least at least until I qualify for, 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 for citizenship. So that's what I can say, guys, about uh, soft landing. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it at all at this time. One, for your own future. And two, because there are some people who have actually lost their... They are, they are, they are, I mean, we have not fulfilled their residence obligations and they are outside Canada and they can't come, right? So, yeah, I would say, guys, the reason why you applied for permanent residence in Canada is because you wanted a future in Canada. Don't let it go to waste. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, like it, uh, share it with your friends, hit the subscribe button. So that you don't miss out on more videos from me and um, also yeah if you have a comment you know on any of the issues i said please do leave a comment below any questions please drop them as well in the comment section below i will try to answer as much as i can okay guys uh see you later I'm just gonna get some gas and then i'm gonna head home